Welcome back to Great Day. Hey, today is National Bird Day, so it's only right that we celebrate alongside our incredible St. Louis Zoo. Maria Eldon is the zoological manager of the bird department at the St. Louis Zoo, and she joins us this morning from the birdhouse with some friends. Maria, we were talking just before we went on here. You got some squawkers with you this morning. How are you? I'm very good, and our birds this morning have a lot to say. They are really <laughs> excited for National That's, Bird Day. I bet they are. We are, too. So give us an idea of how many species of birds you have there at the St. Louis Zoo. We have just a little over 100 species of birds, which makes up about 430 individuals. So tell me where you are in, in respect to the zoo right now and where the best sort of bird watching opportunities in the zoo would be. I am at the beautiful birdhouse in Historic Hill of the St. Louis Zoo. Lucky for anyone who is an avid birder or maybe just someone who likes to enjoy watching birds, everywhere on zoo grounds is a great opportunity to see birds. If you're having lunch on Lakeside Deck, um, you can see a lot of the ducks and other waterfowl that come to visit us. Cardinals are always around. And I recommend that anyone dusts off their binoculars and picks up a bird guide and comes to see us. Can really if it's be... too cold for you, you can come inside and take a, a nice rest inside the birdhouse where it is 75 degrees. There, there you, you go. <laughs> it could really be a lot of fun. Yeah, keeping the birds comfortable, that's important. Uh, so who's in that area with you and who are we hearing this morning? We are here with our uh, rhinoceros, Horn Bill. Um, he is the dad to some of the chicks you may have seen in the past. And the birds that you are hearing are the carmine bee eaters who are um, just in front of me. They're a little bit out of view. They're beautiful pink birds um, that you would find in Africa. They are having their breakfast right now, so they're flying back and forth. <laughs> that gets me squawking, too. I get it. So Missouri has a state bird. What is Missouri's state bird? And are visitors able to see them at the St. Louis Zoo? Unfortunately for uh, Cardinals fans, the state bird of Missouri is the eastern bluebird. <laughs> Um, you are able to see the eastern bluebird when you are out in places that have a lot of open land. Um, Freeport Lake is a great place to see them. And currently, they are around in the winter. It's just a little bit harder to see them around. They eat bugs, and a lot of them. And winter is not a great time for bugs. So they right. are being very cozy and staying hidden. Gotcha. Who can blame them, right? Hey, before we wrap things up, Maria, how can our viewers help birds that might appear in their own backyard, especially during the winter months? Winter can be very difficult for birds, but we are able to help them in many different ways. Uh, one is to plant native trees, for, um, trees, flowers, and shrubs. They provide the birds with seeds and berries that they need for uh, a nice, healthy treat for the summer and into the winter months. Um, if you are someone who feeds birds in their backyard, it is very critical to keep the feeders clean and stocked with good quality feed. Um, but a great way to conserve birds is to come see us at the St. Louis Zoo. Visit our website for more information on how to conserve birds um, and what we do to conserve birds in the wild. And most of all, have fun with bird watching. We can learn a lot from them. Yeah, that's for sure. Maria, happy National Bird Day to you. We appreciate your time. We are going to post this segment right after the show so everybody can catch it. That'll be at KMOV.com slash great day. Take care, Maria.